Kambamwa, uh, Genki Desuka, hope you're well. Um, I'm in landscape, I don't know if I'm too close or too far away or what really. Um, just had a terrible session trying to set this up, so I'm just making sure this is okay and that you can see me. Um, going to try and do some kata this evening and hopefully uh, fit it all in. That's the plan. So we're in landscape tonight. Uh, well, you're in landscape, I'm not. Um, and um, hopefully you'll be able to, to see it. Um, yeah, I'm very well, thank you very much, Andy. Good evening, Ken. Good evening, Sharon. Good evening, Andy. Uh, good evening, Tim. Uh, oops. Bigger room. <laughs> yeah, no. It's just it's just the screen. Um, <laughs> uh, oops, oops, Andy. Um, so can you let me know, does this look okay? And can you still hear me from down here? This doesn't make our kitchen look massive, but it really isn't. But, yeah. Okay. Us, evening Thomas. Good evening, us. Oh, someone's shaking their head with an angry face. Is that me? Um, good evening, Michaela and Betsy. Us. Thanks, Tim. Okay. Um, I'm going to need some feedback because I'm about 20 miles away, it feels like, from the camera, so I'm, I'm not sure. I can't see this screen because it's too tiny. Um, so uh, let me just quickly see if I can change this. I'm oh, sorry about faffing around, but uh, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, good stuff, right. Is that okay? Oops. Just checking myself, obviously I've got a 10 second delay. Um, I, I literally would have had to rush the scene, so apologies. Uh, so welcome, us. Uh, so tonight's lesson, uh, we're doing Kata, and we're going to do Techie Showdown. So um, I'm pretty confident that I can fit it all in, um, but in terms of it coming across on screen, I don't know. So good evening, Harry. Uh, good evening, Ashley. Uh, the Dickersons are watching good. Good evening, Esme. Um, even Isaac. Us, Ken. Good evening. Good evening. Magdalena, good evening. Uh, nice to see everybody. I'm going to say good evening to everybody before I get started because I'm uh, just calming down from the mess that I'm in. Um, all okay. Oh, thank you, Andy. It's, it's good to just get a little bit of feedback. So trying a different setup, trying it in landscape to see if we can fit in kata properly in the kitchen. Um, I'm doing techie tonight, so obviously it goes sideways only. Um, I can't teach it to you or uh, to the other way around, just it's not going to work for you, I don't think. So for lower grades, this might be a, a tricky one, but it's actually not a difficult kata to learn. It's quite a simple, easy one to learn. Um, so I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, good evening, Zach and Christian. Um, so... Uh, we're going to do it nice and slow and nice and relaxed, okay? I'm going to talk you through different points. Um, <clears throat> important thing that ca uh, Techie Kata is that it's part of a series of katas. So there's three in total. This is Techie Shodan, number one, Techie uh, Nidan, number two, and Techie Sandan, number three. The other two, Nidan and Sandan, are not done till uh, much higher grade black belts. Uh, second Dan for Techie Nidan, I think it is, and, and third, fourth Dan, sort of Techie Sandan. So <clears throat> we're only going to concentrate on Techie Shodan. So this is a, blau, uh, a brown belt kata, and um, a very, very important one. Okay, so it's a very important one. Um, I love it. It's really, really enjoyable to do. Um, I enjoy teaching it as well in the dojo. Um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't enjoyed trying to set up my kitchen to fit it all in. So... Um, We'll see how it goes, and then your feedback will be really, really good. And then I can see where we go from there on Thursday. So uh, whether it's good to do another kata um, or revisit this one if I make a mess of it this evening. So I hope everybody's well. Um, uh, no updates really from the government in terms of whether dojos will open again soon. I had a few people ask me questions this week. Um, there is no, there is no current uh, information. Good evening, Caleb. Us. Um, so I, I can't give you any updates there, so we're going to have to continue online. Um, my plan is to continue right the way through the summer online, if that's what we have to do. If I can open any one of the dojos, any one of the uh, four local dojos, then I will do so. Um, if, if I can't, then we continue online, continue putting stuff on uh, YouTube. If there's anything you want me to teach that I haven't taught you, then just send me a message and I can add that to my, my list of things to do. Um, so the uh, idea of YouTube is a beginner's guide to Shotokan, uh, which we're doing at the moment, then a uh, sort of intermediate and then an advanced. Um, and anything else that we want to add in the meantime. Uh, we're going to the beach in September, so that's something positive to look forward to, uh, providing things continue to improve regarding COVID. Um, and uh, that's the sort of ongoing uh, place where we are right now, I guess, uh, in, in terms of, of, of karate. 
it's really frustrating for me to watch our European counterparts having great fun back in the dojos and all training together. Um, but they're in a different place than we are, uh, and uh, fortunately, um, you know, we're all okay. That's the most important thing. But uh, things will improve and we will get back in the dojos, I'm sure of it. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick warm up. We'll then get ready to do the kata. Um, I feel like I'm going to be too far away from the camera, but I think you're going to have to uh, listen and try to follow as best you can. Um, this kata is already on YouTube, I think. Pretty confident I've put it up there, um, and you can have a look at that at a later date. Um, variation, as I've said always, with the Hian Katas, there's little variation. With Teki, there's considerable variation, uh, depending upon association and organisation. Um, so we will we will see uh, where, where we get in terms of, of, of all of that. Okay, so um, but but I'm going to show you our way. <laughs> That's the most important thing: the, the way that we do it, uh, Sahi. Okay, so wait. Oops. Okay, so just arms forward, just nice and relaxed. Just a very brief warm up. Shouldn't need to do too much tonight. Just keep those arms nice and relaxed. Keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your hands relaxed, your fingers, everything's relaxed. Okay, change arms. Okay, and change. Relaxing. Okay, good. So, Ishi, Sanshi, Go, Rokshi, Hachiko, and Jo. And to the sides. Ichi, Sanshi, Go, Rokshi, Hachiko, and Jo. And up. Ichi, Sanshi, Go, Rokshi, Hachiko, and Jo. Okay, so forwards, side, and up. Okay, nice and relaxed. Ichi, San, Ichi, San, Ichi, San, Shi, Go, Rok, Sich. Hutch, Ko, and Ju. I'm sure you will become experts at that now, uh, which is good. Good evening, Dylan. Uh, good evening, Bron. Um, okay, boss. Uh, sh shoulders, shoulders, just rotating. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Then changing backwards. Okay, just stretch those arms out one more time. Okay, then go to that cheek front stance. Okay, and just your hips. So rotating your hips. So both feet uh, parallel, facing forward, but the left foot in front of the right leg. So we're in Zen Kutsudachi front stance. Okay, let your stance natural, so naturally drop down. Let your body weight sit down. Take your right hip back into Hanmi, half facing. We've done this many a time now. And then relax the hip in. So this is now Shonen. Shonen is front facing. Hanmi, Shonen, Hanmi, Shonen. Okay, so. Just wiggle, try to keep your knee as relaxed as possible so you're just using the hip area. Okay, and change legs. And again, if you find your hips are really stiff, look at your back leg. If your back leg is out of 90 degrees, then you're going to have a problem. Okay, so important to get both feet uh, facing forwards. And you can use your hip. And then hand me, hip, hand me, showman, hand me, showman. So you can see. But the, the hip is moving. If I show you from this angle, hopefully you can see uh, the, 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 the this, this difference is the word I'm looking for there. Okay, so this is hip showman. Okay, hand me. So the hip comes back to here. When we do showman, hip is here. So we're adding a good six to eight, ten maybe inches to our punches, which is obviously making the extend further. So hips, hand me, showman, hand me, showman, hand me, showman, hand me. And change. Hand me, showman, hand me, showman, hand me, showman. Okay? I have a little person watching me this evening. Hello, Holly. Oh, she looks like she's going to drop off asleep, so uh, good evening. Oh, good evening, Alex and Lee. Oh, so I hope you're very well. Um, uh, please, can I do Kanku Dai and Basso Dai sometime? Thanks, Isaac. Yes, of course. Providing it fits in my kitchen. Okay, us. Um, so, uh, very, very quick warm up. As I said, we want to get really the cat going straight away as best as possible. So I'm hoping that you can hear me. Um, I'm hoping that you're going to, be able to see me and I can't see you because my eyesight really isn't that good. So this will play out in one of two ways. It'll either be great and epic or it will be shocking. Um, good news though, really important news, and I think this is uh, the best news that I've had since March the 10th, and that is I am booked in for a haircut. 14th of July. Looking forward to that day very fondly. 
Okay, anyone wants some hair for any reason whatsoever, and look at my instructors there, then uh, I have a lot of it ready for you, okay, on the 14th. Okay, so bow. Anyway. Okay, so this kata has its own yui position, okay? Uh, many of the katas now continuing forwards after the hian katas, we start with an additional yui. So yui means ready, okay? Yui means, yui means ready. So when we bow normally, our right leg goes out. Sometimes we'll shuffle our left leg as well, just to open the legs correctly, and that is yui. This is yui. Yui means ready position, okay? It's not the stance. The stance is hachidachi. So yui, yui position here. But in the kata teki, teki shodan, Okay, so you say your kata nice and loud into the front as per normal. Open your hands, okay, and take your right leg in only and your right hand underneath. Okay, so your hands will cross underneath. Okay, and your starting position is really important. Don't get the left hand underneath, as I did for my third Q grading. Um, never done it before in my life, but um, crashed and burned at the grading, and my sensei said to me, one earth did you put your left hand underneath for, uh, Richard? And I said, mm, nerves. And it was just that, it was just nerves. But you'll find out you can't do the first moves, uh, first move if you do the left hand. So the right hand goes underneath. So a quick way of reminding yourself of that is to move your right leg only. So once you've bowed and you've got into your, your, your normal natural yui position here, okay, say your kata, teki shodan, open your hands, okay, that knows, tells you you're doing teki, I think that's a good reminder in your head, and then just bring your right hand and your right leg in together. And tuck, tuck your right hand underneath. Okay, so I'm going to be moving forwards and backwards, I think, that. Uh, Harry, you don't want any of my hair. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to. It's just there for free if people want it. Okay, so hand underneath, hand underneath. Okay, so let's uh, start developing the character. We're going to do it like Lego, so we're going to do one move at a time, and then we build on our uh, little uh, Lego bricks, and we will hopefully make the character good. Now, the really important thing about this character is once you've got the first half, you are halfway there. Makes sense? but the second half is exactly the same. And that's a really, really good thing. From a learning perspective, I don't think this is too difficult a kata to learn. You can certainly do it in one evening, so I'd expect most people to get this by the end of the lesson. But that said, there are lots of little intricacies and technicalities that take years and years, and I do mean that, to, to, get, up, uh, to get around okay, and understand fully. So people learn this quickly. It is an easy kata to learn. But doing it correctly takes many, many years, okay? I've probably been doing this one about 27, 28 years, and um, I would say I'm nowhere near close to perfecting it. But things like timing, development of stance, um, and uh, kime and everything like that, all of that comes over that period of time. And you change, you change down to you, okay, as a person. My stance has changed over the years massively. All sorts of things will develop with you. And that's the whole point, it's supposed to develop with us as karateka. Okay, so feet apart, normal natural stance, and bow, right, oss, ayoi, open leg stance, and this is hachidachi, okay, teki shodan, teki shodan um, means first level, um, iron horse, um, horse riding kata some people call it, but um, the, first, the first level of the horse riding iron horse kata, okay, so teki shodan, so remember, right leg and right hand, move in, open the hands first, like a shuto position, take the right hand underneath. Okay, our first move, like any other kata, should be, and I hear you saying, look. Good. So we're going to look to our right. Okay, we're looking to our right, so we're looking in the direction of travel that we want to go in this kata, and this kata is only going to go this way. Okay, we're not going to go forwards and backwards, it just literally follows one line. Okay, so I'm going across the back of my kitchen, okay, and um, you don't need to worry about going forwards and backwards. Okay, so uh, first move there, looking first, okay, and then, and then you want to drop. So lots of people do this as their first move, they look and they step. Okay, we're not stepping, we're dropping, so we drop down, so our, our right knee will collapse, okay, and our left foot just comes across, and using the edge of the foot, uh, soccer toe, Andy Sensei, I think that's correct. You'll tell me if it isn't. So you drop down, you look, and you drop down. So you just sink down. It's very similar to our kneeling bow. So our kneeling bow, we don't kneel forwards, we go straight down. So we drop down. And, and it's about letting the, your centre of gravity just 
go down. So what I said to you at the beginning about relaxing the arms and legs and getting those hips in particular uh, moving, um, that's what you need to remember with this kata is to relax majority of the time and then only tense when we need to. So the kime on this is really important. Okay, If you kime all the way through, it's going to cause you a lot of pain because this is done in side starts. So relaxation, really, really important. Okay, so once more. Right? Okay, so right again. Okay, so this position here. Looking to our right then, so that's going to be our first move. Drop down, side of the foot. And you're using the edge of your foot. Okay, so two points of the foot. You remember I said the other day about the three points of the foot? So if we think of this as the toes, okay, our fingers as the toes. Point one would be the ball of your foot. Point two is the outside edge of your foot, around your fifth metacarpal, your little toe. And then the heel is your third point. They're your three points of contact with the foot. Really, really important to remember that. Okay, and you're going down on point heel and little toe. So that edge. So from here, look and drop down. Okay, so eventually you will look and drop together, or you can look first and then drop down, that's fine. But what you mustn't do is drop and then look. Okay, the uh, visual part of this kata in terms of where we look left and right, forwards and backwards, etc., is absolutely vital. And that's the bit that will, one of the bits that will take you quite some time, I think, to, to get over and, and learn. Okay, so right, us. Take your shoulder down. Open the hands, and you oi. Okay, so looking, dropping down. That's the first move. The second move, our right hand is going to tuck underneath our left hand, and our knee comes up here, centre. Like so, us. Okay, so again, watch me once more. Looking, dropping. And here, high shoe back hand, hopefully that's in frame. Okay, I'm just fitting in. Stance is Kibarachi, left hand on the left hip, right hand out. And hey shoe is the back of the hand, the back of the hand. Sokuto, outer edge of the foot. Did I say that, Andy, or did I say Sokuto? Yeah, I did, I think I said Sokuto. And Sokuto is inside the edge of the foot. Okay, so. Andy Sensei knows I happen to get those two muddled up uh, more times than I uh, care to remember. Okay, so once more. Take your shoulder down. Hey, oi. Looking. Knee up. Balance here. Balance here. Okay, and step down with the kibachi. Now I'm breaking this down. I'm breaking this down. I hope you understand. I'm making this one move, uh, like really simply. Okay, when I show the kata in full, partway through the lesson, maybe halfway through the lesson, um, then you'll understand uh, the way that it develops, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is continue the way I am, so one move, one count, coming back, refreshing the memory, we're trying it again, and um, hopefully that will help you, you learn this kata. Okay, so, take your shot on. Every time I say that, the dog jumps out of her skin. Um, she's sitting just in front of me, just in front of the camera. So, um, we're looking, dropping down. Keeping your balance here, and you're looking to the front because your knee is to the front here. Then look to the side. Tuck this elbow in, relax the shoulders. Okay, and then from here, a roundhouse elbow. So we've done this technique before. Here. Okay, so mawashi and beauty. Mawashi and beauty. Is that cool, honey? Is that cool? Good girl. Here. Okay. So, once more. Okay, so, yoi, looking, dropping down, knee up, to the front, and then out to the side, tuck this elbow in. Roundhouse elbow, itch, and you get a really nice slap, if you do this correctly. Uh, tonight, not too much in terms of whacking yourself, etc. Okay, um, I'll explain a few bits as we go through that, that you don't need to make these horrendously loud noises that you sometimes hear in dojos. Okay. The idea is not to beat yourself up in kata, the idea is to perform kata with correct technique. So once more. Take it short down. And first move, drop down, itch. 
So I can move knee up knee, and sun, and she. And then we continue, go, drop your hands to your hip, koshikamai, koshikamai, hip position. Now we've done uh, this move before in Hian Yondan, and we've done this move before in Hian Yondan. So you're going to start to see elements of the katas you've learned previously in this kata. And then as a higher grade, so you'll see elements of this kata in higher grade katas that you're learning. So it's a really, really uh, interesting kata. Okay, and as I say, there's a series of three, and um, they, they get pro progressively more technical, but still only follow the same horizontal line. Okay, going sideways uh, rather than forwards and backwards. So once more, os, yoi, teki shodan. Open those hands, remind yourself, bring the right foot in, right hand underneath, relax the knees. Okay, that force them down, just relax them, let them relax. Like so. Oops. So we just take the weight out of them. Okay, so once more. Bow. Yoi. Take show down. Aoi. Each. Ni. San. Shi. Go. And back. Back to your position. So relax. Each. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rock. It's a downward block. Gidamburai. From the hip. Gidamburai. Relax your shoulder. Don't bring it up. Gidamburai. Gidamburai. Like so. Oops. So that is a combination. The way that will look. Oops. Take your shoulder down. Ich ni san shi go rok. Okay, so we're it's part of the way through. So what we'll do is we're going to reconnect with that each time. Now we'll do those uh, six moves uh, constantly, repeatedly for three or four goes. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next bit. Remember. Once you've learnt the first half is kata, the second half is the same but just the opposite direction. So um, less, less surprises. It's quite difficult I think for, for uh, beginners to learn this kata to start with, but actually once you get the basic principles of it, it's very, very easy. The key thing is looking. Yeah? Look where you're going all the time. You should do that in Shotokan Karate, you should do that in knife. Um, otherwise, as I tell the children on many occasions, um, trees jump out at you. Uh, so, us. Okay, and ready. Os. So we'll repeat this move a couple of times. Take your shoulder and your weight. Relax your shoulders, relax your knees, but don't push down. Please excuse me. Dog needs to go outside for a little. Honey, outside. Good girl. Us. Apologies about that. Okay, so once more. Ready? It's a working living kitchen. Dojo, dojo. Take your short arm. Are you oi? Each. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rog. And your mate. The six moves. Six moves. I think in uh, terms of getting into a habit, uh, it's one word to use for karate maybe, but to constantly repeat. Teki uh, shoran, we start from that position all the time, and yoi. Ich, mi, san, shi, go, rok. And once more, once more, right? Yoi. Take your shoulder down. Yoi position. Ich. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rok. And yam. Okay, so I'll show you this natural speed. Natural speed. Take your shoulder down. So this is an interesting
interesting punch. Um, and we use this a uh, number of times within this particular kata. So, uh, kagi uh, effectively means hook. Okay, so boxers will know about the hook punch, okay, the jab punch. So, some of these uh, punches, that, although they are Japanese, they are shared with uh, Western uh, martial arts and boxing originally, one would say, was certainly in martial art. So, kag kagazuki is a hooking punch. Hooking punch. Now, can you think, have we used this before in any of our katas? So, have we used this in Hien Shodan? or Hien Nidan, or maybe Sandan, or Yongdan, or possibly even Hien Godan. And see who can come up with the correct answer. So have we used this uh, karate punch called Kagazuki previously in any of our katas? And see if you can beat Andy Sensei, because he's always the always quickest. Okay, so great. Awesome. So we're going to be able to move seven with the Kagazuki. Teki Shodan, Aoi. Okay, so remember just to relax yourself down, okay, take the weight out of the knees, and drop down each. A knee, sun, she, turn the head, so you're looking where we're going. Go, rock. I think I missed my counting out then, again. Yoi, each, me, sun. She go rock siege. Looking this way because this is where our punch is going. Kagazuki coming across the body this way. Boss, that's it. so it's, it's important to always uh, follow. <laughs> Good on your hand, he's given everybody uh, five minutes. It's in, it's in the Hian Go then, is it? Uh, um, it now, is that Lee or Alex that's asking that? What, telling me that, not asking? Lee, Lee or Alex? Which one of you has given me the answer there? I'm keen to know, because well done you, you got it right. Pretty awesome. Us. And if it's a joint effort, good on you, even better. Okay, so once more, all seven moves. Us. Take your shot on. Yoi. Each. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Rok. Siege. Okay, from here, transition move. Just a transition. Harch. Edge of the foot again. Edge of the foot again. So coming across. And this stance, you know this stance already? You know this stance, Kozudachi. Cross leg stance. Okay. Alex, well done, Alex. Very, very good. Okay, well done. Us. So once more we repeat. Teki shodan. Hey, oi. Hey, and dropping down. Each. Ni san shi go rok si ha same height same height okay and we we come up to the point where we're going to have our first um, our first uh, what's the word. A new, a new technique more than anything else. A new, a new technique more than anything else. I think that's probably the, I'm looking for a word, but it, it's escaped my brain. So, the variation that's in this kata, okay, is, and I'm not wishing to confuse people, is that some people will swing their leg up, okay, some people even kick Mayagiri. Now, you'll notice that we're bringing our knee up, okay, and that's a more traditional way of doing this, so it's more of a stepping down. So, us. Take your shoulder down. So here, come up and, and think of more stepping. More stepping. Okay. Each, me, some, she, go, rock, siege, ha. So, quite a change now, quite a change from that transitional move. Okay, so we're going to have to repeat that a number of times, because I think that's quite a complicated bit. So I'll talk you through that um, as much as I can. Again, we continue from the beginning. I think it's really important in this kata to build momentum. Okay, that's really, really important. Once you've got the momentum, um, I think some instructors will, will agree with me, hopefully, that uh, teaching this kata is particularly challenging, um, because... 
it's stop start and the only real way to teach it is to continue from the beginning to build the momentum and the um, what's the word keep keep the brain used to the, the rhythm if that makes sense this kata is very much about timing um, and, and if you teach it in blocks it doesn't work it needs to flow okay this is, a, this is a, a, an almost almost uh, Chinese type type like kata uh, and what I mean that I'm kung fu um, very Tai Chi-esque sort of that sort of thing so once more okay so you uh, take your shoulder down hey boy so each ni san shi go ro shi cha off the shoulder the knee comes up here so these come to there they're connected as the knee comes up here and this is like an inside block feeling as we step down like an inside block feeling so it's like a chuki <laughs> Bruce Lee's just come up on my screen is that Kayla good evening Kayla Thank you. A bit of Bruce Lee, I like that. Okay, so once more, eh? Os. Hey, oi. Take your shot on. Hey, oi. Each. Me. Sun. She. Go. Look. See. Hot. So it's like a chuki, centre of the body, centre of the body. Now remember about your shoulders. Yeah, so I used to be all about my shoulders. I was very much shoulder led in karate. When I used to do kumite, kata, kion made a difference. Um, I've been very, very conscious working with Akita Sensei um, around my shoulders for, for a number of years now. And um, I completely relaxed them now. So I feel much more naturally comfortable my techniques are longer. Um, it's not dissimilar to working out how to use your hips. So once you've got these, all of your techniques extend. Your kicks, your punches, your blocks are better. Everything connects. When you start to relax these, even more so, even more so. And I think that's the difficult thing is that we are taught very low stances to start off in Shotokan Karate. Keep them strong and low, strong and low. And we, we all we hear about is strong. Okay, it's just a thing, I think. Um, we just hear strong, strong, strong. And then we become stronger and stronger, and we become stiffer and stiffer, and we use our relaxation less and less. So you, you become slower and stiffer, and then when you're told to relax, it's very, very difficult to do so. Um, us, Dylan, it's, it's just Dylan today, as last, uh, like the last few lessons. Okay, us, nice to see you, Dylan, thank you. So, so really um, important to be able to relax your shoulders and your hips. These are two big areas of the body that you need to focus on uh, in your karate to make it better. Okay, But, you know, as I said to you before, maybe each lesson you learn one thing only and focus on that rather than too many things and not improve anything. So tonight we're learning a kata. Okay? If you know the kata, then you look at one of those elements and you progress hopefully on that element. Okay, So um, for me, you know, my, my thing tonight is uh, first time I've ever done techie in front of a camera, uh, live, trying to figure it in. Um, you know, the next time I do it, I'll be more natural, I know the setup, I won't be panicking like I was before I came on screen. Uh, with 10 seconds to go, I still haven't quite finished the setup. So we, we sort of um, uh, need to practice everything in life, don't we, to get better. Oh, Sensi Wayne. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, us. Good, good to see you about. I'm glad you're alive. <laughs> I haven't heard from you in ages. But to be fair, I'm rubbish at keeping in touch with people. It's good to see you. Us. Okay, so Ray, how you So, say the kata, take your short arm. Again, remember saying that straight ahead, not down. Yeah, look ahead. Take your short arm. Hey, open the hands and relax. Feet team together. Okay, so dropping down each. Ni, san, shi, go, rok, si, hach, ko, off the shoulder. And back again. Once more, repeat. Lots of repetition, lots of repetition. Remember, once we've got the first half completed, the second half is just the same. Take your shot on. Yoi. Each. 
Mi san si go rog si ch ha ch ko ju. Don't worry about the counting, worry about the moves. Last time, and then we'll continue. Take your shot on. Each me some she go rog si ch ha ch ho ju. Take your left hand and your right hand where it is, relax the shoulders. Okay, come up. Your position ready for, for soto uyuki type feeling. Okay, so this hand here, this has come off the shoulder, uchiuki feeling, and imagine you're doing a soto ryuki. So from here, so from this, this position here, so sort of think in this, this finger. So let me show you again. Teki uh, shoran. So remember, ich, mi, san, shi, go, rog, si, ich, ha, ch. So this hand goes like a punch. Yeah, this hand comes up your position. So I, I'm not sure what the best way to remember that is, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I really, really struggled with this uh, when I first started, and then the next bit in particular, I just really, really struggled with. So you've got to find a way of, of remembering it yourself. So I think that when, when you come across here, your knee comes up, this hand comes up together, so you join those together. So basically the, the knee lifts the arm up, like so. Off the shoulder, inside block, and then I think get ready for outside block. Okay, and then this is the next move is not outside block, but it's get ready for outside block. I think that's the best way to remember it, um, and I hope that helps you. Uh, it's the way that settled in my brain eventually, okay, over the years of doing this. Um, so once more. Okay, so take your shot on. Hey, oi. Each. Me. San. She go rog siege. Half a step across, half, keep the same height. As the knee comes up, the arm goes up to shoulder. Uchiyuki, inside block feeling. Joy position for soto yuki. Okay, and I'm going to show you the next move. This is arazuki. Arazuki, uppercut punch. Very similar, people will often do an outside block. People do a soto yuki, it's not a, a block. This is a strike. A rising punch. Arazuki. Okay, so hopefully that will, will make sense. So think of here, forget the stance at the moment, you probably can't even see my legs actually thinking about it. So here, this feeling here, yoi and strike. And this hand, supporting hand underneath, so the elbow sits on top. The elbow sits on top. You must excuse me if I keep disappearing out of camera. I'm uh, obviously used to doing this completely in portrait mode. And tonight I've done it in landscape, so um, and I can't see myself on the screen until about 15 seconds afterwards, so it's not very helpful for me. But hopefully, you know, if you lose the top of my head, you lose all my masses of hair, so that's not a bad thing, is it? So, so, so basically, think of that inside block type feeling, okay? When we come off the top of the arm here, then come your position for soto yuki, but then a rizuki type feeling here, okay? And we're getting closer towards the end of the first half, but not quite, okay? So we continue. Uh, if you are really warm in your dojo, because I noticed that someone said it's blooming hot in their dojo, which is nice, um, it's very warm in mine, uh, then make sure you have a drink. I'll probably have a drink in a, in a second anyway myself. So, ready? Aoi. Okay, so, take your shot down. Aoi, open the hands, remind yourself what kata you're doing. Okay, relax the shoulders, relax the knees, just let gravity take its natural course. Okay, looking and dropping down. Each. Ni, san, shi, go, rok, sich, ha, ch, ko, ju, ju, ich. Okay? And we'll get 
getting there, we're almost towards the first half. Um, I do appreciate it uh, feels like a long kata when you break it down in each move like this. But when you do the actual kata, it's one of the shortest um, in terms of speed and finishing, etc. There are fast bits in it and there are slow bits in it. And we'll work that detail out a little, a little bit later on. I think the um, important thing to do at the moment is to get people learning the kata, um, how we want you to do it from an Asahi and Sky perspective. Um, and, and you, you must understand that our higher grades, okay, they will have done this in various different ways. Depending on all the different dojos they've been to, they would have been taught different ways. Um, and as I said this a million times before, the variation that we see in kata is a, is a good thing. Okay, I think personally, um, evolution changes um, make you think. If it makes you think, it makes you learn. If you're learning, it's always a good thing. So therefore, your karate can only improve. Important thing is, whoever is teaching you, wherever you are, you do what they say. Okay, and if you learn it ten different ways, ten different ways of doing something um, is is probably better than just one. That sounded quite philosophical, I think. Us, hey you. Okay, so the kata, teki shodan. Okay, I feel like I'm disappearing out of view. I'm hoping that you can still see both sides of my uh, kitchen, <laughs> or sorry, dojo. Uh, Aoi. Okay, so relax. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shi, ch, ha, ch, ko, jo, ju, ich. Okay, so in Kibidachi natural stance, okay, as we've already worked this one out, we've not worked too much on the stance this evening, so I'd rather get the moves to done. You look to your left, okay, because that's where your next problem is coming from, your next attack is coming from the left, okay, and imagine that someone's going to sweep your leg away, okay, so they're literally going to ash you or eye you, uh, take your feet away from underneath you, okay, so you're in this position here, look, bring your leg up, and, and what you want to do is, is not kind of come up with this, Okay, and not rock sideways as much as possible. You just bring your leg up. So, um, we call this nami, nami ash, I think that's the way I've always been taught it. So just take your natural uh, kirachi stance, let your knees drop forward, and just bring your leg up. And bring your leg up. And you're not kicking yourself. A lot of people do kick themselves. Thank you, Andy. Um, you, you're not kicking yourself. I see, I see so many people do this kata and they're whacking their legs. Now back in this, you might catch your gi, okay, if you're loose fitting gi, that's absolutely fine. The intention is not to kick your physical self, okay, why would you do that? So it's more of a bring the foot up. So I always like to try to see the sole of my foot, so I'm bringing the foot out of the way. Remember what's happening is someone's trying to sweep my leg, I'm bringing it out of the way to stamp down, or potentially sweep them, and then I finish them off. That's a bit advanced. But the black belts will be thinking that, I'm sure. And we're almost there. We're almost up to the first half of the kata. Okay, so, so the kata, teki shodan. Ayoi. Okay, so drop one. Ish ni. San shi go. Rok si ich hach ko. Ju ich. Lego. Now, in the ash, you bring the hands around and bend the elbow, 90 degree angle. Left hand pointing to the left, right hand underneath. Look to your right, right leg up now in the ash, bring the arms around to here. And this is where I said to you earlier, you have to relax your shoulders, you have to be able to expand your chest. Okay, so bring this around here. When you first start doing it, it feels very awkward here. You're not trying to do this, so if your shoulders are up, this will be impossible. So relax your shoulders, relax your shoulders. Stance, still parallel, still kibidachi. Okay, so if I show you that um, now right the way through to the ki because we're almost at the ki okay, and then we'll break down those, those little bits. Uh, I've got the voice, first calm feed Esme's had in ages. What can I say? What can I say? The baby whisperer. Hey, okay, so say the kata, take your shoulder down, and you wait. Remember about relaxing. Each, ni, san, shi, go, rook, si, ch, hach, 
Ku Ju Juich Juni Ju San Ju Shi Then the hands drop to the hips Ju Go Ju Ia Okay, another Kagazuki and Yame. That's the first half, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, students out there. I hope you got sweat on as good as me. It's really warm, it's lovely. Okay, so um, if anything's hurting your knees or your hips or your shoulders, then honestly, my experience, my personal experience is you're doing something wrong and you're doing something that will eventually cause you uh, potential pain uh, later down the line. So for many years I was told to force my knees out in stances, in particular Kibadachi, and I think that contributed to me needing the half a knee replacement. So I, I think, um, as I've been teaching for a number of years now, everything we do should be natural stances. Okay, we force our knees out in Kibadachi. Here, this is, this is not natural, is it? Okay, our, our knees don't naturally do it. We just let them rock forwards. Yeah, it's a stronger stance for one because your gravity is down, okay? You're not forcing anything out of alignment. Your hips are in the correct place. It makes a lot of sense. Um, but remember, karate is about showing people the way. Um, uh, but you have to find it. So what I might teach you, your understanding of it might be different, wrong, better. Who knows? So uh, every, everybody will have their own way. And... Taken me a long while to to get where I am. I guess at this point in time, um, and not be complacent. Still keep uh, evolving and keep changing and keep looking at things. I shall go back after tonight's lesson and revalue this and sort of think: Is that right? Is this right? Is that okay? Um, so you may see variation in the dojo. You know, the black belts will tell you that the way I teach is to try to keep it as traditional as possible. But there will be some elements of where I think change needs to be made, um, or um, want to try something different. That's another way of looking at it. Okay, so once more, take your showdown. And again, we'll go all the way through slow speed, so we'll do move by move, and then I'll show you it all the way through in a natural sort of progressive speed, so that you're able to um, uh, see the kata as it sort of should be, as much as I can in the kitchen. Take your showdown. Speed ish. Take your arm. So, apart from the state of my hand closing now, I'm naturally there. Um, that's the sort of speed we want. So from this position here, fast, 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 slow, fast, fast, pause, look, 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 and it's that bit that you won't be able to see um, necessarily, uh, I don't know how far away I am from the screen and how, how best you can really see me. Um, Better to be close up, I think. So I hope he's coming across okay. So that's the first half of the cat. The second half is exactly the same, going the other way. So that's what we're going to do now. So start to build this into the full cata. So I'm going to walk it through step by step. We'll get up to the key eye point here. And then we'll show you the next transition into the second half, which is just a repeat of going the opposite way. Hope that uh, is making sense to you. Okay, so once more, uh, Techie Showdown. Okay, so again, open leg stance, hachi dachi. Okay, so make sure you bow correctly first and you wait correctly. Okay, so make sure you're in your natural position. Say the kata nice and loud. Teki shodan. And you wait. Open those hands, remind yourself you're doing teki shodan. Okay, relax those shoulders, talk to yourself, remind yourself, relax the shoulders, relax my knees, relax my hips. 
you, you have to keep doing this in, in particularly Shotokan Karate. Okay, so dropping in, ish. So remember, we're dropping and looking, ish. Ni san. Shi. Go. Ro. Si. Ch. Ha. Ch. Ku. Ju. Ju. Ich. Remember that's a punch. Ju. Ni. Nami ash. Avoiding that sweep. Ju. San. Again, get this angle near enough to 90 degrees. Ju. Shi. Ju. Mo. Leave the right hand where it is. Take the left hand and leave open hands. Hei shiroki. Remember this from the beginning. Okay. Ish. Ni. Sang. Shi. Go. Rok. Sich. Hach. Ko. Ju. Ju ich. Ju ni. Yamei, open both hands. As the right leg comes in, the right hand slides underneath. Back to your yuri position. And hold that there until Yamei. And release. And then back into yuri as we did, would do pre with uh, other katas that we do. Okay, so that's Teki Shodan all the way through. Um, iron horse, horse riding kata. Um, there's different, various different names for it, etc. Um, as I say, we, we tend to do it at third Q, so it's a brown belt. It's a, known as a brown belt kata. Um, you're likely to get it in many of your black belt examinations, so continually learning, continue, continually developing. Um, and then when you get into sort of second dan level karate, so you've been training maybe 10 years, uh, eight, nine, 10 years, um, you then start to learn teki nidan, okay, which is a little bit more technical. Um, uh, and then once you've got your third dan, so 15 years of training, maybe beyond that, you start learning Teki Sandan truthfully, properly, and um, you are um, in a different realm. <laughs> teki Sandan is very far removed from Teki Shodan. Um, I really like it, it's very complex, it's very difficult to learn, I think, as a kata. In fact, it's probably the most challenging kata to learn, um, but also one of the most rewarding when you connect. And when you get it right, that's the same with any kata. You know, when you do a really good one and you know it's good, you feel that you feel that in your whole body. You feel it in your mind, your heart, your everything comes together. That's what uh, that's what makes me do karate. I think for that feeling, um, you know, you don't get it all the time, um, and sometimes you might not get it for a while, and you start to question yourself: Am I good enough? Still, you know, I'm losing my way, and I'm little. Yeah, you lose your way, but you find your way back. That's what black belts do. They always keep finding their way back. So we get lost a lot of the time. Some people, it's for 20 years. So they went to university, had a family, and then found their way back, and they carry on doing karate again. Um, I think that's lovely. I think that's, that's a super lovely thing um, for, for, to, for that to happen. Some of us old school people just start and don't stop, and everything else stops. <laughs> Life gets in the way of karate. So frustrating. Um, including uh, terrible diseases, etc. So I'm going to do it a couple more times, okay? We'll do it all the way through because I say the second half is a repeat of the first half. Um, if this has been reasonably helpful and people have enjoyed it and people have been able to follow the kata, okay, with this new setup, because obviously I've never done it before in landscape, then I can um, do this kata again on Thursday if people want to do that, or we can move on to another kata. We, we're thinking there's enough room in here to do a kata, uh, of any, any kata, the difficulty is, is getting it in the screen, um, and that's my problems I had earlier before I came live, um, was literally trying to fit in everything. So it's more to do with lenses than it is to do with the, the physical size. You can actually fit this into quite a small space, but um, uh, it, it's just one of those problems of uh, doing, doing online karate. Not something I thought I'd ever do. If you'd asked me about this at Christmas, I'd have laughed at you. Okay, so once more, uh, take your shot out. Yoi Ich Ni San Shi Go Rot Sich Ha Chu Ju Ju Ich Ju Ni 
you sound, you see, you go, hey -oh! you walk, you sit, you hot, you cool, you do, you do it, you do it, you do sound, you see, you go, you walk, you sit, you hot, yeah, hey, yeah, mate. I'm not going to lie, this is reminding me of when I very first learnt this kata because I think I had curtains back then because I was in my early 20s and my hair is definitely as long as that now so I can see my hair flicking as I'm doing the kata possibly the single most annoying thing um, Yes, <laughs> Tim, the kitchen table is very well hidden considering its size, uh, the camera's standing on it <laughs> um, but uh, luckily with cooking's all done this evening so we're okay <laughs> Um, right, so I'm uh, going to do this kata again. I'm going to slow that down a little bit because I think I rushed that. Well, not rushed it, but I went too fast for people that are learning. And uh, so this is not about me doing it, it's about you learning, I think. Really. Or for some of you, just a refresh because it may have been a while since you last did uh, all the kata. So the last time I did all 26 katas, and this is me being truthfully and honest to you, was uh, the back end of April. So I've been doing the katas individually, but not all together. So um, that's my plan for this weekend. Providing the weather is good, because I can't use the kitchen at the weekends because it's just too much, uh, too many people here. Okay, so right. Hey, oi. And say the kata, teki shodan. Hey, oi. Okay, so ich, ni, san, shi, go, rog. Si, ich, hach. Ko, Jo, Ju Rich, Juni, Ea, Ju Sun, Ju Shi, Ju Ok, Ju Ko, Ju Sitch, Ju Hatch, Ju Ko, Ju. Yijuich, Yijuni, Yijusan, Eya! Open hands, Eya mei, Inoi. Eya Brax, Os, Inoi. So one, once more, once more slow speed like that, and then once more natural speed, and then I think we'll uh, finish the lesson there. Um, you keep pausing because of the weather. Um, interesting. I, I, I don't believe I am pausing, Alex, but you might be having bad weather in Sandy. I don't know. Um, we had bad weather in Potton last week, so people were cutting out then. But um, internet speeds. Don't get me on that one. But they're very slow. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so Ray, one more time, slow speed. Take your shot down. Okay, so uh, I'll do once more, uh, then we'll finish with the dojo queen and then we'll finish the lesson. Uh, keep this to an hour as much as we can. No code, hours is good, isn't it? I think it's Sandy tonight. Okay, so um, once more, take your shoulder down all the way through. Then we're yamay relax, we'll finish with the dojo queen and then we'll uh, finish the lesson. Oss. Hurry, oss. So this is a uh, more natural speed. Take your shoulder down.
So you, you can see that there are bits there that are slow, there's bits there that are fast, there's bits there with complete relaxation, and then Kimei. Um, and, and as I say, there's lots of little intricate parts to Techie. There's no point you trying to complete and do them all straight away. So maybe one lesson you focus purely on your stance, okay? One lesson you purely focus on where you're looking, okay, in terms of direction. Another, you're breathing, okay? Another, the individual techniques. So um, whether it be the Arazuki or the uh, Uchuki type feeling, okay? All of those different things, all of those things. Ah, oh, thanks Wayne, that's very kind of you. That's very appreciated, <laughs> thanks. Um, it's, there's lots. Lots and lots of bits, and I think that's why I particularly like this kata. So, as I say, I'm going to watch this back. I don't like watch myself back, but I'm going to see what I can reevaluate and get right next time. It's the first time I've ever taught this kata in my kitchen. There's a first, that's good. And um, it won't be the last, I'm sure. So, do you want to do this again on Thursday? Would that help people, or would you like to move on to another kata? Um, I know that Isaac's really keen to do basadai and kenkudai, so I plan to do those. I just need to have a practice to see if I can do them in the kitchen here. Um, I'm still contemplating the idea of doing a, a live lesson one early morning on a Saturday or Sunday um, from an undisclosed location, but I will be not in my kitchen. Um, as I say, at the moment we're not able to get together. The dojos are going to remain closed for the foreseeable future at this moment in time. Um, looking into spaces outside, we can't meet with more than six people at the moment and we can't get insured. <laughs> So that means, um, you know, adults do what they want to do, but children can't. So it's really, really difficult for us to do anything other than this at the moment. Um, what I'm begging of you is that you stay with us, uh, keep interested. I'll keep posting stuff. I hope you find some of it interesting. Some of it, um, I'm just a karate geek, if I'm perfectly honest, and just uh, enjoy doing different things. Um, you can probably tell I like my photography. Uh, so does my son. He takes most of the decent photos that you see. Um, so if, I, if you want to post posters, pictures or photos of you put on training, I'm quite happy to show those. Uh, it'd be great, in fact, actually. It's better to have pictures of other people than myself on our, um, on our pages, because uh, it's good to have better looking people. Um, and obviously the plan moving forward is to develop the YouTube page. Um, it's about 50 videos on there now, I think. Uh, but it'd be good to have more people on those videos rather than, again, just me. Um, I'm going to play around the website again in the summer holidays, hopefully. Um, and our lovely instructors are going to get a little bit more um, of a part in that, which is good. Uh, so there's quite a lot, lot coming before we go beach training in Holcombe um, in Norfolk, hopefully in September. And fingers crossed, that's still very much the, the, the plans that we've got ahead. Um, so I look forward to seeing you Thursday. So remember, it's Thursday, 7pm again here on Facebook Live. Um, the lessons are always uploaded uh, to this page afterwards, so you can do them anytime you want. And in fact, a number of our students do, which is really nice. Um, and also I upload them on YouTube as well, in case you ever want to go back to them. I'm not sure I ever would, but there you go. Okay, let's finish with the dojo. Us. Dojo kun, hitots jinkan ku kansei ni soremato koto. Hitots makato no michi o mamoru koto. Hitots doryoko no seishin yashina o koto. Hitots regyo o monju o koto. Thank you so much again for joining me in my kitchen, Dojo, and uh, well done for keeping on going and keeping on training, and um, thank you so much for all your kind messages, it really does keep me going, and you know, I've still got this wonderful uh, positivity in my head that I'm going to go back to a Dojo of at least more than three people. Um, I, I do think it won't be the same. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that uh, a lot of you are still following this and that's really, really uh, appreciated massively. Um, and I know the instructors feel the same. Um, and so, so we'll look forward to hopefully to seeing you again soon. But see you Thursday at 7pm. Oh, Oisumasai arigatou gozaimasu.